I found out another good reason to have this gauge. The P3 dash pod digital video gauge is it also will tell you codes that go bad in your engine. Like uh, I had my gas cap light come on. I took off the gas cap, dried it out. It was a very cold night. Um, it's not cold right now. It's like about, we're going to break a record today for this time of year since 1916. I think it was 1980. I think 1916 or maybe, I don't know when, but it's 86 today. So if we reach 87, we'll beat it. <clears throat> but anyway, um, I put my gas cap back on, started up the engine. It went away. But the next day, I drove it down the road, <laughs> and I had the check engine symbol come on. And I said, oh, no. So, but what I noticed when I started up the engine, it said code 446 or 0446. So I said, ah. So I looked it up on the Internet, and I talked to some people. Basically, it means there's a, a slight emissions leak. It's your gas cap. So I remember I put two and two together. I said, yeah, the gas cap light came on last night. Now it's saying this. So it knows that fuel vapors are escaping your engine. I took it into Fabian at FS Tuning. He also mentioned the purge valve might be bad. And he said, let's just go ahead and change it because you've done really well with that. If you've had it from the beginning, I've never changed my purge valve. So it's worth it because it's going to go bad anyway. So I got a new gas cap and a new purge valve. I'll show you. Cleared out the codes. Everything's good. From this hose all the way down is new. Goes up into here, around there, and this is the purge valve right here. And this is a one time only clip. What's funny is this valve was only $23. The hoses that connected are $36. Um, the gas cap was uh, $36, or $46, I think. Gas cap was $46. So I got all three, and it's no big deal to see a gas cap. It's already on there. But that's basically all my problem was. And I did have a smell of fuel. So if you have our GTI and you're, you have a small little fuel in the cabin, could be your purge valve is just letting some of that vapor into the cabin. What it does is I think it's supposed to purge those vapors in through the engine so the vapors get burnt up in the engine again. On, on another note, you can see that my rotors are toast. See these lines and grooves in them? They're done. Now, these ones are called ECS uh, rotors, the Geomet rotors. They're cross-drilled and slotted. Um, people gave me uh, hell for having, they think this is backwards. It's only backwards if the directional veins inside are directional. Mine are non-directional, so they just go straight. So the veins inside here, if you look, I don't know if you can see it, but you'll see little veins. Let's see if I can focus. I don't think I can. I'm so close. But there's little veins in there or channels in between the, the see these are called vented so there's two two parts of them I'm just burning my hand off because I was driving thing but the basically just imaginary lines are behind here you can't see but they're straight 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 so it doesn't matter which direction these face as long as your veins are non-directional but my new ones are going to be called Stop Tech. I'm getting the Stop Tech cross drilled and, and sl slotted, and it's going to look sweet. It's going to be black here, and it's and it's actually going to be better rotors, and they'll be brand new, and they'll last for a few years as well. So, I've spent these ones, but my new ones will be directional. So there'll be one for the left side, one for the right side, and these are going to have to scoop this way. So the slots and the and the and the dots or the holes. We'll have to go that way because it the scoop the, the, the instead of the veins being straight they're going to be curved and you want the curve to face that way so that it it scoops air in and helps to cool down the rotor so that's my next thing i'm getting and they're not that expensive really the brake pads are going to be not that expensive you put it all together it's a pretty good little job but it's, it's not going to be that expensive i'm going to save for it and uh that'll be my next item to upgrade when these go bad. These are already bad, but you can drive with them for a little bit. The ones in the back are not vented. Because I'm not all-wheel drive. So these just roll along. You may just let the car be seen. I haven't shown it off in a while.
You can see my nice tail lights. They kick. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are so hot, man, and sweet. I'm like Deadpool. I'm touching myself tonight. I'm sorry about that. I'm just joking. I'm looking forward to the Deadpool movie, actually. I, I would like if they would make an X-Force movie and have Cable in it from the future and he would kick butt and you have Domino in it. So I'm hearing rumor they might actually be working on an X-Force movie. X-Force is way better than X-Men. I like X-Men too, but X-Force were a little more paramilitary group and they, they didn't take any prisoners. They went after people that were anti-mutant and they took them out. And I think if they do it right, it'll be you'll be surprised how great the movie will be. And the next big thing in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is Civil War. So be looking for that. There's going to be a lot of things developing in that movie. It's going to be very dramatic. You're going to have Bucky Barnes uh, being chased down. I think they may try to blame him for blowing up the UN. Uh, they're going to blame him for killing Howard Stark, which is Tony's dad. And that's why he's going to be mad. He's going to want to get him. Uh, Black Panther's going to get involved because his dad was supposedly assassination target when he was working for Hydra. And you're going to have all this stuff going on in the world from Sokovia going up, uh, you know, in, in the sky and Age of Ultron and all the destruction that the heroes have caused, that the governments of the world are going to unite and they're going to try to regulate the heroes. But that means you're going to have to turn in your suit. You're going to have to turn in whatever things you carry. I mean, I think I saw a scene where they're taking Captain America's shield off of him. I'm like, no way, man. I wouldn't do that for anyone. So I'm on Captain America's side. No registration. Now, I think he's going to have Ant-Man, Falcon. You're going to have Black Widow switch sides. She's going to go to Tony's side, Iron Man's side. Uh, on Captain America's side, you will have Scarlet Witch. You will have um, Hawkeye. So you have Hawkeye, Ant-Man, Falcon, Captain America, Scarlet Witch, and who else? Oh, Sharon Carter. If you saw her... She was that little pretend nurse that lived next door, but she was actually an agent. She's Agent 13. She's actually Peggy Carter's daughter, and she may become a future love interest of Captain America. But she's the daughter of Peggy Carter, Carter that Captain America ha had feelings for, and he never got to go out that night and dance with her and go out with her. So he supposedly died. She thinks he's still dead. So it'll be good to watch Agent Carter coming back on. They're going to have great episodes, and we're going to find out some more secrets about the, maybe alien technology, the Kree, and they're going to weave a story that's going to lead us through this timeline that's going to guide us through the MCU. Um, really having fun with all the Marvel movies right now. But I'm off to work. I'm super early, so I can just take my time.